We are not happy as you clearly said, you rightly said, because if you can see our placards here, there are various captions. We are being owed several months of salary owing to several issues. One of the issues is that some people's verification codes have not gone through since the inception when that code was issued us. And these codes, we didn't give them to ourselves. The government working through the accountant general and the, 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 the uh, consultancy company, they gave the contract of paying salaries called APMAT. They were the ones that issued these codes. And then for many of us, when we try to log in and register using that code, it says invalid verification code. And we have complained severally to them and they keep driving us back and forth. They will send us back to our account head. They will send us to different offices. They've had us written different letters. We've written to the accountant general. We've written to the commissioner for finance. We've written to the, the permanent secretary, ministry of local government and chief TNC affairs. Just this morning, when we went to complain again at the Accountant General's office, a spokesperson of the Accountant General asked us to write again to the Secretary to the State Government. So, our opinion is that this is just bureaucratic processes to weigh us down. Now, apart from verification codes not being open, there are people whose verifications have gone through but they are still old backlog of salaries ranging from as you can see uh, one month two months to as big as many as nine months plus plus the 13th month somebody like myself speaking my name is chibos or from admin department in omaha not local government i am being owed june salary november salary december salary the 13th month plus january salary i have no guarantee that I will be paid February even because I've not been able to see any of those app math people to even confirm that now that my verification just went through this January. I've not been able to even confirm that now that it has gone through that I will be paid coming for going forward. So that is how this lady here is being owed nine months yes. plus a 13th month. She hasn't received anything since the inception of this administration. Now, the impression they give us is that Governor Oti is not aware. And we are inclined to believe in that impression, but he begs to question. So we are hoping that if he, if he's not aware, this, this move, this move will make him become aware of this situation. Yes, so we are tired of writing letters. We, we are tired. We we when we go, they, they either, on one occasion, it wasn't just Omar Hanot, many, uh, we met, we met Umun Nochi on one particular day, I think in December last year, and we were, they were all protesting at uh, Accountant General's office. Herself came out and addressed everybody. But apart from that, on other occasions, is people working under her that come out to address us. And what they will tell us is to go and write a letter to so, 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 and so person. And we will go back and we will write that letter. And that bureaucratic process will take months and still no result. So we are tired of the bureaucracy. We are asking that the government of Dr. Alex Soti will find a way to look into these reports because we are under the impression that APMAT and the AG's office have given back feedback on the work they are doing concerning salary. To look into that feedback again and find out that there are people who have not been paid and facilitate our payments so that they don't keep kicking us to and fro and then at the end of the day, they will suddenly say they have concluded everything about verification and the people who have not been verified are now there by tagged ghost workers. Myself started work since December 2006. A lot of persons here have worked for over 12, 13, 15 years. So there is no way we can all be ghost workers. All we are saying Oh!